Welcome to the channel everybody. If this is your very first time stopping by, my name is Chuck and on this channel we deal with pretty much everything Corvettes. We have a 2019 ZR1 here. We have a 2017 Collector's Edition over there. Today I am actually headed to what's called Tech Day with my Vet Club and I'm going to be taking you guys with me. If you've been a long time viewer, I do these uh, usually three or four times a year they have this event and uh, Mr. Oglesby, who is a gentleman in our Corvette club, opens, uh, so graciously opens his shop to uh, all the vet clubs so guys can bring in their Corvettes, they can do brake jobs, they can do oil changes, they can change out exhausts. Um, you pretty much see all kinds of different things, but mainly oil changes. Um, you know, guys get their cars up, look underneath, check out the tires, different things like that. We are going to be putting the ZR1 up on the lift so that you guys can see the whole front end of this car which is changed in the under wing. So I'm excited about seeing it. I have seen it when, I, when it first came in uh, and that's where, you know, basically on this car, you guys know you get 950 pounds, pound feet of uh, downforce back here, but also this massive wing that's on the front GM re-engineered the underwing that connects to this uh, front splitter here. Um, so I'm gonna definitely show you guys that. Uh, but before we do, we gotta stop. On Saturday mornings, I usually will stop because it's kind of a, a reward for the week and grab an ice latte. So let's get out on the road and get today's video going. Too. If I'm gonna buy a latte, I always get it from here at Dunkin' Donuts. It's the only one in Tulsa. There's only one up here in I think northeastern Oklahoma. <laughs> so, uh, thanks, Dunkin'. So don't forget, in two weeks, July 28th, which is on a Saturday, uh, we're gonna be uh, doing a meetup in the Kansas City area. I'm looking forward to that. I've already had several of you guys reach out to me saying, Chuck, we're coming. If you are in the Tulsa area or going to be passing through the Tulsa area and you want to cruise up there with me, uh, send me an email. My email is in the description below and I'll let you know where I'm going to be leaving from. For me, it's going to be a one day event. I'm going to be going up, meeting you guys, spending about four or five hours, well, five or six hours up there and then coming back. So if you want to be a part of this, come out and check out uh, Fearless, the ZR1. Uh, there's going to be a lot of other amazing Corvettes there. It's a great opportunity for me to get to meet you guys who watch the channel. You know, I did. If you haven't watched, it was my zero to 60 times. The biggest thing I wanted to really show everyone in that video was how well the car actually could do in some crappy uh, conditions. You know, it's got cut two tires. We were on junk pavement. We it was 96 outside with humidity was like 76%. Um, I mean, that's like trying to run with a paper, you know, with a plastic bag over your head. You just can't breathe. You know, this car couldn't breathe at all. Um, but I thought it was pretty impressive. Again, I, I know so many of you who are out there in the YouTube world that know how to drive a car a whole lot better than me and could have got, you know, every bit of a second faster than me. I understand. I read your comments. I know your car is faster than this one. You know, <laughs> some of the people here on YouTube just cracked me up. Thank you. 
So you need the go. deeper pucks here. Oh. I, uh, I had no time to watch this first week, right? So I had even done the first week, so I had to spot my squad. So I found one. Did you find yeah. one? Yeah. Oh, that's it. This is what it's all about. Yep. No more. It's got the ACS diffusers on here which we will be putting on, this is probably the only modification I'm gonna be doing on the ZR1, uh, just cause I really, really like those. I have an installation video of these. If you guys pick these up, I'll have these linked below in the description, uh, also with the video that I did to put these on. Here's the people at the museum that did his car 11 9 of 15 Mac Dave Justin and Toya looks like maybe oh national museum there's one they said you want to get it done between 500 and 600 yeah, because this is dry sump, we're going to have two of these. One right there on the side and one that's at the front. So for all the people who have the you know, Stingray Z51, Grand Sport, ZL6, ZR1, all of you guys have this. Look at, look at Grant, this, this is pretty awesome. Alright, let me go get that uh, workout. Three stage, it is, it is beautiful over there. And then last lap was that double. So really, that I think easy. that's where the car here actually just screws it on. Snaps on at the top. It is really for that hole. But it's a different. Pour it right on in. Yeah. How fast this goes in. That's. <laughs> That was when I was thinking, you know what? I think I would have changed if I could have redone it. Is that what it went with the seven man? Well, I really would have. Really? I really would have, yeah. With this car? Yeah. Yeah, if I could go back and change just one thing, that's what it would be. Of course, then you would have waited for months to yeah. get it. Yeah. But, but that's, I, to me, it would have been worth it. Yeah. Dude, it's just, the connection is just, mm -hmm. I love it. put it up on the lift here so that we can check out everything underneath it. Oh, there. 
Oh, it's not completely sealed on the front there? I just want one this is nice. You won't see no gears on this one. Huh? You won't be able to see your gears on this one. No. Instead, you can see the, the gears. So when the transmission, they're opened up. Yeah. I like the idea of the automatic with the paddle Blue calipers in there. It goes all the way to the front. It should get the fuel here. Oh, so it's actually scooping to funnel it, to direct it, and then turns, right. Well, see, thousand miles on it, there's hardly any wear on the inside, so that means that, that camber and everything set up really good. And there's a little bit here, but they've got these set up pretty aggressive. Yeah, you'll wear it here first, won't you, Chuck, on the outside, the way they set the camber up? Yeah, can see on mine, that Z06, it just went down to the cords right here. Yeah, the inside. Yeah, it was the inside. The inside's what will go. Same, you had the same tires on your... No, I had uh, the Super Sports. Oh. These right here pick up everything you can see. That's what he was saying. Yeah, it's, it's like, like... yeah. I'm detailing, I'm picking little rocks out of it. Yeah. All right. I got you. Oh, we got to build another shop. They said, I hit a bumper. I don't know. 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 There, there's the there's the magic bullet. You have black wheels. You need black lug nuts. Not those. For the speed, uh, getting them off, it'll be faster. But we're not about really speed here. We're about loving the Corvette. Loving, loving the Corvette. Now here's what I didn't do. Watch what happens when he clicks. See how he stops? You know, you guys saw my video. You know, I kind of went a little bit further. I just wanted to make sure, you know. Look. Are you going to lower it or are you putting it back up? I'm putting it back up oh, okay. because I don't have enough sway bar. Oh, okay. So I'm getting too much side roll. So I'm going to adjust those little bumpers back up just a little for now. And then I'm on the hunt for Z06, C6, oh, okay. or Z51, C6 sway bars because it'll be a tremendous up from the factory on the five right here is the adjuster and all it is is a little bumper pad and you just take the load off of the spring itself and then it'll adjust one that he did it was closed the second one he opened it up holy cow <laughs> that don't make you want to get a camp I don't know what else does man check that out For everybody, now what did it make? What were the, what were the numbers before and then what was after? Scott Z06, 460 in rear wheel, and this is 521 in rear wheel, and it's a mile 10, mile 2, and it's off. <laughs> a lot of guys, that's not enough. They yeah. want more. Mm -hmm. That's fine with me. I want his drivability too. Amen to that. Woo. You guys, I could listen to that all day long. Listen to that. Oh.
610 at the real world. Yeah, I've done everything at myself except the tuning and the okay. wheel, right? Over. right here. What was this getting at the wheel? How much does this get at the wheel, you said? Uh, six, I think it was 609 the last time we dined on it. Dined at 609? I wonder I can't keep so up with no, it. He hasn't done any <laughs> internal, it's just all. Yeah. That's why when I did all mine in like March. <laughs> yeah. That's brilliant. It helps. By the way, if my wife ever minutes. figures out that I'm spending all this money because of your videos, she's gonna hate you. Well, I'm already a cuss word in most homes now. Yeah. 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 It don't take a whole lot anymore. Started with the black lug nuts and it yeah. just yeah. going yeah. from there. It's in it. Now this is Styron's car. It is a 2017 Grand Sport. Now his is also cammed. The ZL7 package. He's got the Corsa. These are the come on the Grand Sports. Uh, also, even on the Z06 is depending on what level trim you get. Uh, but he's going through and drilling out the uh, steel rivets. It's hard when they spin. That was close. Now these right here are the new Continentals, um, Extreme Sports. These are actually the same tires I put on uh, the Black Mamba, my Z06, right before I sold it. You guys can see the tread on this. This is a lot softer compound. Now this is not a run flat, but you know there is some trade-off that you get. Um, still got a ton of performance, but it's got a really, really soft feel to it. You can see just how deep that is. I mean, they're so, these are going to be good tires. You're probably going to be able to get every bit of, you know, 25, 30,000 miles out of these. Epic. There you go. Perfect. Okay, so on all of this, they're using 316 sizes, 316 um, rivets, and as well as the drill bit there. So I know a lot of people are going to be, you guys are going to be asking what size is being used here, 316. It works perfect. And there it is. This tire. Look at this. This car, the sidewall. <laughs> the rim of the tire is like that. Absolutely amazing. Back in the garage. Hope you guys enjoyed those videos. Again, I try to take you with me each and every time I go out with the Vet Club when we're doing the tech day. Just it's, it's cool to see underneath the cars, see what guys are doing. Styron, who put on his uh, you know Z06 uh, side skirts on his Grand Sport, I think that looked amazing. I don't know why GM. I, I mean, I kind of know why GM does that. I mean, I guess you can save some money if they're a little bit shorter, but. 
you know, they're never an issue when you get out of the car, so you don't have to worry about stepping on them or something like that. But um, that looked beautiful. The cam, all oh, the cams were everywhere. It was cam Saturday, I think. Uh, but guys, I, until I see you at the next video, I hope each and every one of you have a blessed rest of your week. Now, let's check out some of your beautiful rides. No